field for the mighty battalions from the southwest. Gloucester travelled to second division leaders Newcastle Gosforth, who'd taken a 6-3 lead through two David Johnston penalties when incisive breaks, first by fly half Neil Matthews and then by Gloucester's stand-in scrum half Damien Cummins, gave Tony Window the chance to crash over. With Martin Roberts' conversion, they led 10-6. But after the turnaround, Newcastle retook the lead when Terry Roberts forced through the line-out to dive onto an untidy tap-down. A marvellous moment for the 42-year-old Locke. David Johnson made it 13-10 and a memorable day for the Geordies and another club veteran, John Curry. The team's playing very, very well. It has done since the start of the season. A lot of young lads have come into the team. A lot of lads from last year. The team's very mature and playing very, very well. And doesn't give up. Plays a full 80 minutes. Inside it was always going to be tough and there was nothing in it at first. The match went kick for kick. A penalty apiece made it three all. Yeah! Gloucester, though, were the better, the stronger side and slowly took control. A try from prop Tony Window settled them down and gave them a 10-6 lead at half-time, which should have been enough. But Newcastle Gosforth fought for everything in the second half and the Cherry and Whites couldn't cope when it mattered most. The winning try was a soft one, scored by 42-year-old lock Terry Roberts. Another two points from the conversion made it 13-10 to Newcastle Gosforth and disaster. I think it's an enormous blow. I think coaches, players tend to look at a game like that and say, oh, well, of course, now we can concentrate on. But it was a very bad defeat. There's no two ways about it. We didn't want to lose that one. It was winnable. Newcastle had very little to offer outside number 10 and, in fact, didn't try. And it was a game with a little bit more possession, better positions. Gloucester really could have won that one quite easily in the so end. So what do you do now? Kick a few backsides? Or? I don't think it was a case of kicking backsides. We've tried that. It's worked. Things were on the up. The sort of graph of progress was going quite nicely. We just came across a little bit of a problem which normally Gloucester can cope with. And it wasn't just firepower, it was working out what Gosforth were doing on the day and coping with that one. And in the end, Their exit from the competition at the hands of the second division leaders, Newcastle Gosforth. Tony Window scored this Gloucester try. With the conversion, Gloucester led 10-6. But after the break, Newcastle retook the lead when Terry Roberts forced the ball over for a try. David Johnson's conversion made the final score 13-10 to Newcastle.